Top five Louisville candidates. I'll give everybody a guess as who's not on this list. And Bill Self. He is absolutely not. You, you're right. He is not on the list. Um, Hurley. Uh, not on this list. <laughs> but I think it, maybe you, <laughs> if you ask some Louisville fans, they're like, why can't we call Dan Hurley? Yeah. <laughs> UConn's only won five national hey, championships. Reach, reach for the stars, man. Yeah, absolutely. Number five, Scott Davenport at Bellarmine. Uh, they're always in the tournament. He's really good. Now, this would be a reach outside into the into the mid-majors, obviously, and a small mid-major at that. But, uh, you know, maybe uh, going outside the norm uh, and not hiring an alum or going for a big name uh, that eventually gets you wrapped up in scandal – uh, maybe that's the way to go here. And I've got a couple of, of smaller names on this list before we get to to three bigger ones. But I, I think, you know, I don't know a ton about them, but I do know that Bellarmine pretty much in the tournament all the time. So, uh, you know, they're fighting their way through. If he can do that at Bellarmine, he sure as hell can do it at Louisville. So, uh, number four, one of the best stories of the year is Indiana State. Uh, Josh Schertz has done a great job there uh, year in and year out. This is another one from the mid-majors. Look, he can find, you know, diamond in the rough recruits uh, in this crazy era. And moving that to Louisville to take over for a team that's won, what, 12 games in two years, smoking or 15 games, whatever it is, uh, that Kenny Payne won. Two, uh, it was 12 and four. 52? 12 and 52 uh, yeah. over the last two years. Josh Schertz could certainly uh, improve on that. If you've watched Indiana State play this year, they're fun to watch. They're a good watch, and uh, they play a style of basketball that's really fun, uh, and Louisville fans know their game, and so does Josh Schertz. So uh, this one, uh, to me, uh, would be would be a very interesting and, and a nice move up, too. And also not just going, who's the big guy at a big place? Let's go get him. Mm -hmm. Yep, I Indiana State, man, anytime, doesn't matter, 20 years from now, I hope I'm around. I don't know if I will be, but I'll always think of Larry Bird. Yeah. The 1979 team that ran the table until they ran into magic in Michigan State in the championship yeah. game. Number three, Smokey, a guy that you know well, yes. Brad Underwood at Illinois. Now, look, Illinois is a really good spot. He's done a really good job at Illinois, but uh, he's also a guy that um, has never been afraid to move, you know, and if Louisville makes him a competitive offer – uh, I I would see Man, that, that Illinois would be a... they 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 are very committed when it comes to yeah. basketball and I know Louisville thinks they are and probably are they just haven't had a really really good run I Stephen F Austin to Oklahoma State was there for a cup of coffee straight to Illinois so yeah so I mean we'll see I mean like but I do think that this one makes a little bit of sense uh, for them especially since he's. He's had big success in a big conference. Uh, not big success, but uh, pretty damn good success at Illinois in a big conference, and that's what they want. Uh, although not, you know, maybe winning a national title. He has not done that, but uh, one to consider. Number two, if you want uh, some attitude, Eric Musselman from Arkansas. Uh, you know, he's the SEC is about to get a lot deeper with the two new teams coming in. Uh, and maybe you do take a chance to jump into the ACC with an opportunity at Louisville starting at the bottom to build them up. Or do you use this as Arkansas to get more money? Uh, as they've had some success, obviously, under Eric Musselman. He's a firebrand, to say the least, um, and can be a bit of a I'll just say it, a clown over there on the sidelines, but he's a very good basketball coach and he's a very good recruiter. Uh, and he's, you know, been, you know, he's a guy who's been considered, he's been in the NBA. He knows how to coach that kind of style of basketball. Uh, I, I think this one kind of fits Louisville a little bit uh, to me. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little, his, uh, his emotions, you know, he and Nate Oates, I don't know, I'm not trying to compare the two, but it, because they both are in the SEC, Musselman. Yeah, he's he's sometimes whoo, calm down a little bit. Yeah, and maybe that's what they need at Louisville. I don't know. Yeah, I think that you bring some. It's not energy. been a good year for Arkansas this year. That's no, for sure. No, absolutely not. But he's had some success in the past. Yeah, just as a program, like I mean, you talk about teams in danger of being the bottom feeder, not as a program, as a university. Like as far as the the big two sports, uh, it seems like they're kind of floundering at the wrong moment while mm -hmm. uh, others are, are having success. And this would be a, a certain. Um, you know, a, a blow to take as well. Um, I wonder in basketball how much the difference in the conferences and money and 
uh, all the things that come with that, how much that will affect the basketball coaching ranks when yeah. it comes to head coaches. Like, mm -hmm. it's obvious if the guy takes from Oklahoma State, takes the Ohio State job, but is the Arkansas job going to be automatically better than – the K State job just simply not based on history, anything, but just because of the league that they're in. Uh, that, that's I, I, that's something I wonder about moving forward. I want to go back to Illinois and Louisville. I Louisville, when I was growing up with Denny Crum and all the things they did, it was a great job. They haven't done much in a long time. I think Illinois might be the best job in the Big Ten with Michigan struggling, Ohio State. Purdue, of course, that painter's done a great job, but I'm still not so sure. Indiana's not who they were mm -hmm. or have been for no, a long it, time. It, look, again, that, that would be that would take a monumental um, well, the reason, deal in front of Underwood, it, I think, it, for him to live, lo, lo, uh, leave Illinois. And the reason I put him on there is he's just a guy who yeah. he's open to that yeah. uh, a possibility more than you know. Maybe somebody in Waco would be, or Mick could like keep talking about Mick Cronin at UCLA. He's got a twenty million dollar buyout. Yeah, like, no. like let's let's be real here, Louisville. Uh, and this is the dude I would hire. I would hire Dusty May from FSU. Young guy, homeboy had FAU in the Final Four last year. FAU, okay, he can coach. He's got good enthusiasm. He's young. He's vibrant. Let's go get Dusty May if I'm Louisville and shoot some life into the into the ACC, uh, which was this year. And it doesn't help to have one of your best basketball brands be finishing last. But outside of Duke and Pitt, North Carolina, I'm leaving somebody else. But like it was a, it's kind of a, a dud of a year for the ACC. Miami was way down. You know, Leonard Hamilton needs to retire. Uh, you know, there, there's all these things going on. Clemson looked like they might be good, but it kind of, yeah, you know. And so Virginia's not what they were under Tony Bennett. They're still okay, but they're not. They're not any great shakes. So, yeah, you know, bring some new life. Don't maybe don't, bring some, uh, yeah, breath of fresh air. And uh, I don't know what the situation is with them, with recruiting wise. Uh, Louisville again usually speaks for itself, but man, they have you know. been awful and. May, uh, he might like it where he is because of the fact he could win the, the conference, get to the tournament, and make a deep run occasionally. Yeah, but I think in talking to Tom Herman yesterday, we realized there's a very much a split gap with where yeah. he is and where a program like Arkansas is. Yep. So that would be, again, that goes back to the money thing I just brought up of how much of an effect is there from a Big 12 ACC level if you know there's this, this big separation versus – um, an SEC or a Big Ten type of a job, but yeah, I mean FAU. I mean they're they're further down that chain. In basketball, maybe it's more unique, and that doesn't matter as much. But that's yep. going back to the question that I had of like how much does that make a difference now, and and how even basketball jobs are perceived. But yeah, he's done a, a great job. Obviously, it would be a a name you kick the tires on for sure. All right, that's it. There you go. Uh, there's the five right in the middle. A former lumberjack coach. I like that with Brad.